Hey guys, this is Gillis. Um, going to cover a topic today, um, level progression. So how to level your character. Um, this game can be very long. A lot of people <clears throat> starting out are going to struggle to know how to raise their player's level up to become more powerful. So let's go ahead and just uh, start a new game. We'll start at level one. You can always see your level up here. It's going to show the progress towards the, the next level. So I'll turn the music off too so we can hear a little better. I love the music in this game. Uh, Coda made the soundtrack special for us. Um, and we actually do uh, situational audio. So it's actually, we have lots of uh, audio tracks that layer at the same tempo and kind of fade in and out depending on <clears throat> what you're doing. So really happy with that, really happy with Coda's work and I suggest you guys follow him on Twitter, Coda Trigger on Twitter. Check him out. He's really good. Um, what we're going to talk about is, is leveling. Let's go ahead and get into town where it's a little safer. Let's go ahead and claim the computer. Okay, got it. So now we're kind of safer. So let me go ahead and just pull up a f something to show you guys. <clears throat> so right here in the bulleted list is these are the methods for leveling up. So your player levels up every 64 points of experience you acquire. Each time you level two is added to your maximum hit points over here. So when we level up to level two, our maximum hit points is going to go to 122. Um, there's no maximum level. This is only calcul. This is only a theoretical max. So, you know, this game is enormous. Um, so you could theoretically play it, you know, for months and months and months. Would be my guess um, to get to level seven thousand to defeat some of the harder bosses. But uh, you know, I have a feeling most people would would max out around two to between two to four hundred would be the maximum level. So that's going to give you substantially more hit points, um, but it is kind of a slow grind to get there. So these are the things that raise your experience. Uh, each of these things in the list um, raises you towards that 64 point threshold. So when you are, you know, level 0 to 10 and you clear a level of midlith, meaning you've beaten all the kind of medium-sized bosses in the level, you're going to get 64 points. So you'll level immediately. Um, as you get up to level 64, you're going to start, you'll, you'll eventually get to a point where you only get one experience point for doing that. So it becomes harder. Um, if you slay a mid-boss, which we've talked about in previous video series, um, you get eight for those every, every time. So as you get better equipment, as you reach the higher levels, you're probably going to spend a lot more time slaying mid-boss, trying to get, you know, chocolate cakes. Chocolate cakes will raise, they give you 120 experience. One out of every three mid-boss drops chocolate cake. So that's a huge reason to be fighting mid-lith, mid um, mid-boss, sorry. Um, super boss, which is only seven of them, I think level 999, level 1999, 2999, 3998, 4999, 5999, so all the way up to 7,000 um, are super bosses. And these things are very, very difficult. They drop special pets as well. So you can get special pets from a super boss. Um, delivery quests are an excellent way to get experience. If you stop in each town, find somebody from the quest club, talk to them, get the quest, and deliver whatever goods they, they want you to just to a different town. That's a, a nice, consistent way to gain experience. Um, one of the the first things you're going to want to do, let me unpause it real quick, is install the, a PCB. So when that allows you to discover new species. Each one you discover gives you two experience points. There's thousands of species in the nature of a procedural game like this in, in this world to discover. So let me unpause it. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and click. Let, let me blow this out so we can see what this says. So this says it's a scanner mod. So you actually start the game with a scanner mod. There's tons of these mod chips you can add. There's actually there's actually uh, three that you can equip at any given time. So let's go ahead and equip this scanner mod. Let's go over here and discover some stuff. So let's discover this guy. All we have to do is get him on the screen. So now that he's on the screen, boom. You can see that our experience went up two towards that 64 uh, threshold to level, right? So even if you were just walking around from level to level, it's possible for you guys to progress in strength and, and level up your character just by exploring. So there's a lot of people that, you know, want to play, you know, I forget what the, what you call it, but you want to play without weapons or whatever, you can do that. And you can just do it by discovering new species. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility. So let's go back uh, to the guide here. So these are the methods. So slay a mid-boss, which those are like the snake-style boss. Slay a super boss. Do delivery quests. Um, discover new species or, or a new utility frame, which those are just the friendly version, which we just saw. Or get chocolate cake. So chocolate cake is like an excellent way, you know, that rare drop item. Just eat it right away and you'll gain a ton of experience. This is what it looks like right there. Um, 